In the end, I believe that the person who is most in charge of his or her own health is the patient. So it is critically important for the patient to be as educated as possible. Knowing helps. I'm Boris Kaiser, and I live in West Chicago. I'm a theoretical physicist, which means a physicist who tries to understand the nature of space and time and matter and energy and the building blocks of everything using pencil and paper. I was told decades ago that I had mitral valve prolapse. And in the 90s, I was told that my mitral valve had started to regurgitate, to leak. At the very end of the year 2012, I became highly symptomatic. I couldn't walk up the 15 steps in our house from the first floor to the second without becoming short of breath and dizzy at the top. Uh, I was not able to conduct my work as usual. So I went to my cardiologist and he said, yes, the time has come, you need to have cardiac surgery and you should have it within a month. I had anticipated it and I had decided a long time in advance that should that day ever come, I wanna be very, very careful about the choice of surgeon. I have a good friend who started out to become a physicist but then decided to become an internist he practiced in the New York City area and was very well plugged into the New York City medical community. My friend put me in touch with a patient of his who was himself a gastroenterological surgeon and who at a certain point had needed cardiac surgery of his own. He researched the potential surgeons in the New York City area in a way that I, not being a physician, could not. And he eventually settled for reasons he described to me on Dr. David Adams. After further discussion with him and with my friend, I decided that that would be a very good choice for myself. The idea of traveling somewhere to have surgery was not so daunting to me, but that was not really a big deal. And I enjoy New York City bagels, and that was a bonus. I had a very good impression of Dr. Adams. For one thing, he introduced himself not as, I am Dr. So-and-so, but, hi, I'm David Adams. He struck me as very able and confident. I asked him at a certain point, suppose when you get in there, you find that you can't repair this valve, you have to replace it. What are the relative advantages of an artificial valve or a valve from an animal? And he said, I'm going to repair it. I like that in a physician. In addition to repairing the mitral valve, Dr. Adams and his team repaired the tricuspid valve, bypassed two arteries. I also had cardiac arterial disease. One of my arteries was essentially completely blocked and carried out a cryomaze procedure to deal with arrhythmia issues. All of that, in my wife's words, while the hood was up. Now I'm doing just fine. I travel a great deal as I love to do. I'm lecturing a great deal as I love to do. I'm doing physics research as I love to do. Everything is just fine.